it seems like I answer a lot of questions about uh, how I film my match videos and what kind of equipment I use and, and different things like that. So I figured to do a short video just describing the main things I use, the equipment involved and all that. Um, so this is for third person view. We're going to get to that shortly. First thing I want to talk about is the hat cam, the, uh, the first person view. Uh, for that, I use a GoPro Hero Session 5. I don't even, yeah, Hero 5 Session, whatever it is. A little small, lightweight cube camera. Um, works very well. It's very, very small and lightweight, like I said. I like it a lot better than the normal uh, full-size GoPros in that it just, when you've got it mounted on your head, you don't want something flopping around that weighs a lot, so this fits the bill pretty well. Um, what I typically use since it's hot <clears throat> where I live is a visor and I've got a mount on here. What I did, I, I drilled a hole through the, uh, the brim of the visor and used a, uh, this is a plastic, just, uh, I think it's a tripod mount. It's a quarter 20 screw, uh, plastic tripod mount. And this case I got from Amazon, I'll just, I'll put a link in the description below. It works very well because the factory mount that comes with the the session it attaches on the bottom. Let me try and get the light a little bit better. So the attachment point is on the bottom. The camera fits in just like this. This is the top. So it tends to stick up pretty high, and I used to use that, but it, you can see where if we were to mount the GoPro on top, it would stick up really high up here. So I've got this one that actually mounts to the back of the camera and the camera just slides into place and then you uh, push a little lever down there and it pops in. It works really well. It's a little bit pricey because it's aluminum and all that. Um, I can't remember exactly how much it is, but like I said, I'll include a uh, link in the description below. It works really well. It provides a lot lower profile view uh if it's not hot out on days when it's cold uh, if i wear like a normal full-size cap or a full ball cap i'll a lot of times turn around backwards and use this head strap with the uh the factory mount it works fine i just uh i prefer to let my head breathe in the summer so most of the times i wear a visor uh, this will also work on beanies or whatever um you can mount this one a little bit or the the picture is a little bit lower because it's sitting on your forehead which is nice whereas this is a little bit higher up but both of them work just fine uh i do highly recommend this camera i really like the way it uh it films quality is pretty high especially for what you get in a small lightweight camera um, i do use a good memory card in here so i record in uh 1080 60 frames per second and I don't use the wide angle uh, feature. I, I feel like that distorts things too much and it's, it's hard enough to see the targets. Even with the normal view, if you use the wide angle, it, it makes it very, very difficult to see the targets you're shooting at. Um, so that works for me. Uh, if you've seen any of my videos, you know that the sound of the gunshots acts kind of weird with this. I'm not sure why that is. I was told it has two different microphones and it switches between the two depending on what picks up the best audio. Now I guess the gunshots could kind of confuse it since it's such a uh, loud sound. I'm not really worried about how the gunshots sound so I'm just going to keep using this camera and I may look, look into other options if they come up with a uh, a new release sometime in the future but uh, for now this one works just fine so these items are what I use for my third person video I've tried several different things over the years and this seems to work probably the best that I've found so far first is just my cell phone uh, it work takes great video works really well um, and the second item is this, uh, this gimbal or, or stabilizer I believe this one's a, a Zhiyun smooth Q, if I pronounce that right. And you take it and you balance it out pretty close. And then when you turn it on, see how it, now it's, it's stable. So you can tilt it down, 
with this uh, lever, you can tilt it back up. Um, it stays very steady as you move it around. And then if you want to pan left or right, you just twist the handle and it follows. Well, you can just hand this to somebody and say, hey, keep your knuckles pointed at me and you know use the up and down to try and get my whole body in the shot and push the record before I start shooting. And that seems to work really, really well. It takes very good quality photo or videos, um, 60 frames per second. Now there is a size and weight limit for this, uh, this stabilizer. So depending on what phone you have, uh, it may not work. They also make GoPro adapters that actually fit full-size GoPros. Um, but I have heard good and bad things about how well those work because the GoPros are uh, kind of heavy as far as the weight limits. Um, there's several different adjustment options. It's very easy to do. There's plenty of other videos out there, but um, I'll include the link to this uh, in the description. I believe it ran about $120 or so when I got it, and it takes much, much smoother video than if you just had somebody holding the phone up, bouncing around, following you around with it. The gimbal, the, the stabilizer for my phone, and then the hat mount for my GoPro are the two main ways I capture match videos. If you have any questions or have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, if you know of any better options for cameras or cheaper, better quality, uh, lighter, anything like that, uh, please let me know. I'm interested in trying them out if the situation arises. Thanks a lot.